Welcome back to another episode of Dub Geographic. Last week we talked about animal intelligence, and this week we are highlighting an awesome creature, the beaver. Beavers are environmental manipulators very similar to humans, and have many more exciting features. I'm your host, Maddie Peterson, and you're watching Dub Geographic. Beavers are native to North America, and can even be found right here in Wilmington. While most animals have many different species, there are actually only two different species of beavers, the Eurasian beaver and the North American beaver. The history of beavers is a fascinating one, and their history has shaped much of our own history as well. From 1670 to 1870, beavers were hunted to near extinction for their expensive and lucrative pelts. During this fur trade period, beaver pelts were used basically as currency, and because they were hunted so ferociously, beavers actually evolved to be nocturnal to avoid hunters. This is an extreme example of how far humans affect animal behavior. Another amazing trait of the beaver is that they make dams. These dams are not just simple structures, and actually the largest beaver dam in Canada can be seen from space. And in fact, most of our own cities establish their locations because of beaver dams. But how do these creatures make these incredible structures? Well, beavers chop down trees to build their dams and dens by gnawing around the tree in a circle. Eventually, the beavers cut into the tree so deeply that the top part of the tree will actually die and then fall to the ground. Other than the need for building materials, it is actually necessary for beavers to cut and gnaw on trees because their teeth never stop growing. While beaver dams are beneficial to the beavers because they create lakes that house fish and other creatures, beavers can actually be considered a property pest. After all, not everybody wants a pond and a forever remodeling beaver on their property. Other than their love for construction, beavers share another behavioral tendency with humans. Like humans, beavers are very family oriented. In fact, beavers have been known to share their lodges with families of muskrats. Rodents must stick together after all. When you are walking through Wilmington, be sure to look out for knobs and teeth marks in trees to see these evidence of these amazing creatures. Speaking of walking through Wilmington, this week's segment of Wilmington Wonders is taking you out to Halliburton Park. Let's go check it out. Halliburton Park, Nature Preserve, and Event Center is a great place to spend some quality time outdoors. Go for a walk along its trails to see birds, pond life, and learn about nature from the educational signage posted throughout the park. If you get tired of being outside, head into the Event Center for a fitness class or educational program. Halliburton Park also hosted the Fire in the Pines Festival just a few months ago and participates in a continued Longleaf Pine restoration project. Be sure to check out their website, halliburtonpark.com, to see many more of their exciting events coming up. And we're back from Halliburton Park. Be sure to go check it out as the weather gets warmer. I hope you had a great time learning about beavers, and be sure to tune in next week to WGO's special Marsh Madness coverage. As always, be sure to like, follow, and subscribe to UNCW TLTV, and see you next week, Seahawks. <laughs>